Hi guys, this video is to help all the people who have not been able to get certified solar eclipse glasses for this year's solar eclipse. So like me, I have been able to get these glasses, but they uh, are they have only the CE certification, which is not enough, and some ISO certification of the company which is uh, not enough too of course that has nothing to do with the glass itself it's something about the company so I've tested this more or less I mean I have been testing this for all the three rays which the Sun emits I've been testing them for visible light UV light infrared light so i'm pretty sure they will work but um not i'm not 100 percent sure still of course and some people didn't get even such glasses so i will try to help anybody so what you need is you need your cell phone you need a little bit of tape scissors and either one either your uncertified glasses or something like this this is a tint film for a car actually that's not very expensive it's about 10 bucks and you get a lot of it this um, blocks the this is a 35 percent visible light transmission that means it blocks 65 percent but of course we can add additional layers so that will mul multiply the effectiveness so and uh, at the back we see that yeah this is for trucks vans SUVs whatever and it blocks over 90 percent of the UV rays so actually we want something to make like glass or a camera for the mobile phone and uh, we have two problems which we have to solve first thing the mobile phones or a lot of the mobile phones don't have the size to protect your vision or the the uh, yeah your whole face or two eyes so we have to make the thing a little bit bigger larger and we have to protect the camera from ultraviolet light because it can damage the camera so this we can do when we do one layer it will be only 10 percent left when we do two layers there will be about one percent left and i think that will be enough to protect the camera maybe we do three layers four layers we'll check that out and uh, yeah we have also a bright light which i don't have here but we have all like led lights uh, very strong led lights so like this uh, torch we have this here you can see that that it's very bright so you will uh, probably need something like that um, to make to sure you have enough protection only when you don't uh, you're almost um, not able to see that then it's enough protection for the Sun I guess so yeah I was hoping to test the whole thing outside with the Sun I was not able to get some some artificial UV light I had like two things one from the electricity here and I had this one from the glue that is an artificial UV light but it was simply not strong enough so we forget that so we rely on the yeah on the fact or the written thing that the it should uh, take out 90% of the UV so we start um yeah i will cut a part of this out and then i will continue with the video or i yeah i've decided to to show you everything so let's do this shouldn't take too long so i just cut this here so it's a little bit bigger than than the 
smartphone but still not too big so it's up to you how large or how big you you want to make this just cut this okay and then we need also a hole which is a little bit larger than the camera so let's put it maybe yeah on this side cut little hole be careful that I don't cut my fingers okay that's so let's check how large this is yeah should work I think so now what we have to do is to tape this mobile phone with this tape to the cardboard yeah of course when you do it on video it's no far from being perfect but yeah it should do the job anyway so let's see if we can put that in the middle okay so yeah we can make it afterwards a little bit better but of course you can see I can hold my cell phone like this and I will have some additional protection around my cell phone for my eyes that's important and what we now have to do is we have to protect the camera from the UV rays so we do it with this foil so but for this I need a little bit of time I have never been opened that um, but I have bought this from Walmart and I'm pretty sure you can get it from any car shop which you find down the road I mean from um, O'Reilly's or wherever you uh, find something like that so even today it's one day from the solar eclipse it shouldn't be a problem to find this at Walmart or at any store okay now I have cut a bunch of these foil um, sheets small ones not too big you have to it's your own decision how big you wanna make them but you can see this is one sheet um, transmits 10% UV this is 1% with 3 it will be 0.1% then 0.01% almost dark I have now 8 8 behind each other I mean we are very 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 low I mean this is at least UV 400 or even lower so we test this now with a strong uh, light I hope it will work so let's see you can see this LED is almost like uh, just sunset instead of very bright light so I think we are really close to the thing we, which we want to have and I will now tape that down to the cardboard I hope it will last I mean of course it was not really beautiful made I yeah without the video usually I cut a little bit better but uh, at least it should be in place more or less so let's put it down we take just a little bit of regular tape so we can take it off if it's not enough maybe we'll need some more after that we'll, that's not enough of course let's 
uh, okay I hope we haven't hit the camera part maybe you can make small uh, signs where the camera is I think we didn't hit the we didn't cover the camera with the tape so yeah but now we can turn on the phone and make some first tests with uh, artificial light and then we will go outside hopefully if there is some sun today so we can test but yeah, if we can't test we just give it a try then afterwards I interrupt the video for a moment okay now I have turned the smartphone on and the, I've started the camera and now we take the very strong LED torch and put it behind the smartphone and try to find the camera where the camera is uh, it should be yeah here here we have you see that's not bad I mean it's still visible but not too bright that you can't see anything so I hope that should do the job if it's still too bright I mean it won't damage the camera for sure I'm 100% confident that it won't damage the camera because we are at 0. Uh, 0. 0. 0. 0. 0.00001 um, yeah, light so it shouldn't be a problem so even you can uh, yeah it's blocked yeah but anyway it's an old, it's old cell phone I will do this with a uh, newer cell phone of course this is very very old so it's very slow and it's a little bit yeah it's doing what what it wants so now I'm back with the camera you can see that and even you should be able to zoom in then if you have a good camera on your cell phone again blocked yeah it's a little bit silly so we stop this um, yeah of course uh, so for people who have bought these uncertified solar eclipse glasses they have an alternate to this film tint film they can yeah if you really are sure that you don't want to use these glasses should just take them apart cut this part out and stick it on the hole instead of this tint film so you are pretty sure that you will have perfect uh, protection as well so this will probably be even better than the tin tint film but uh, at the end it will be probably almost the same at least as uh, when it comes to protection for your camera and not for your eyes of course so now I have made a few pictures of a bulb a very very bright bulb which usually I cannot make pictures with my phone so maybe this is uh, looks a little bit similar to the solar eclipse tomorrow so this is the whole bulb and this is from the side so maybe it looks a little bit similar to what you can see tomorrow depending on where you are so of course I can't take any responsibility for any damage or whatever but if you think it's a good idea just do it I, th I think it's one of the best opportunities to have that you have without having certified glasses or professional assistance okay I wish you best of luck I think this should really work I mean the good thing if you just watch on the screen there is no risk at all you can't f risk your eyes you uh, there can't be any risk of that it's too bright you can't can't be too much infrared can't be too can't be too much 
the ultraviolet nothing like this and we have some extra protection around and now we have protection also for the camera of your cell phone so i think uh you should be really ready charge your phone make sure that everything works and you can watch uh, at the screen see everything at from the uh, solar eclipse you will even be able to make nice pictures probably yeah so let's just hope that we don't have too much clouds and everything will work so if you like the video give me thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next